And thanks for the opportunity to come along and tell our story uh, today. But at the same time, it's really good to uh, publicly have the opportunity to thank RDOC and its many volunteers and sponsors and, and uh, corporate members that actually allow uh, us to do our work and allow this uh, partnership to form. So hopefully I'll go the right way with this. <laughs> I'll just tell you a little bit about Northern Bay College just to start with. We've got, uh, we're in uh, 3214, we're in Corona, the Wallonian Geelong. We've got some fantastic uh, families and some fantastic students, and you'll hear from Rakea later as an example of what sort of students we've got. But st statistically, if we have a look at the evidence that's presented before us, that we actually are a community that's really in need. We do have low income families, we've got early school leavers, and we need to address that. We've got long-term unemployment and generational unemployment. We've got low birth rates. We've got high numbers of psychiatric admissions. <coughs> At year 12, completion rate is really quite low. Whereas in, uh, in Melbourne, we're looking at 49%. That's a real worry, and you read about that in the paper as well. And in Melbourne, it's 44. Then Corrine and Lane, uh, last year, that was only 20, 23%. So we need to do something about that, because your success in life will depend on whether or not you've actually completed year 12. And if you look at our, our residents in, July, in the coronal lane in that 20 to 24 age group that have not completed uh, year 12, we've got over half our population are in that category. So it makes it really hard to work well and around building aspirations. We want our students to be aspirational, but our parents are not necessarily aspirational because they haven't been able to complete year 12 themselves. If we have a look at the index of community socioeconomic advantage and see where we sit. So this was in 2011. And we can see that where you'd expect in the bottom quartile that 25 percent of our families would be there in each quartile of course in uh, 2011 we had 46 percent of our families that are in that quartile when we jump to 2014 we now go to 76 percent so the, the area and the level of disadvantage not a word that we use um, at all um, jumps to 76 percent so when you've got three quarters of your population in the bottom quartile that makes our job really difficult at school to make a difference to the lives of kids that, uh, that attend there. That's so quite startling evidence. We don't dwell on that. You know, we, we have a very positive outlook that we're there actually to make a difference. And that partnership with the ARDOC allows us to make that difference. We're both the mission that we have and the mission that ARDOC have are the same. A quick run through the, what our uh, college is. So we're made up of five campuses, uh, five different sites. Four of them are identical. They go from prep to year eight. And one is a nine to 12 in the middle. We're predominantly uh, flex, uh, flexible learning spaces, so we don't have corridors, we don't have passageways. We do on the senior campus, and that's the last one to be rebuilt. We have collaborative teaching spaces, so we have core values of collaboration, outcome, respect and equity. So collaboration, we want our teachers to collaborate, we want our students to collaborate, so we have to have spaces accordingly. We've got 2,100 students currently, so a large number of students, and a large number of, uh, of staff that accompany that as well. What's really nice is we've got a, a growing number of uh, uh, corn families, culturally and linguistically diverse, um, and that's been, that's been terrific. Um, well, here, as I said, from Rakao in the moment, uh, a young Af Af Afghani woman. We have a large number of Afghani people, families coming in, and they're adding uh, so much um, to the college, uh, and just adding to their diversity and their aspiration. They're just a great place to be with people like uh, Rakao that we'll hear from in a, in a moment. And we have significant partnerships with a whole range of people. And because we're the only government school in that part of Geelong, because we were nine schools, um, a lot of people are happy to form partnerships with us. One that we started with uh, right from the start was one with Ardoc. And what's significant about the Ardoc one, it's a really, it's a really strong partnership. Um, and it's a really good example of a place-based uh, partnership that Mandy was referring to before. When I first became involved, and I was principal of one of the schools initially, um, ARDOC was pretty well offering just a, a welfare um, type focus. So they're happy to come in with, uh, with food packs for, for needy families, they're happy to organise someone to do the gardening, cut the grass, have some volunteers in to help kids with reading. But that was pretty well it. So it was really that, that welfare uh, paradigm. And that was something that doesn't sit really comfortably with me, it doesn't sit comfortably with the staff either. We wanted to move away from that. Even our welfare staff at that time were changed from welfare to wellbeing. 
and then two years ago we changed their wellbeing staff, we call them learning partners, because the whole focus has got to be around learning. So we can't have people just worried about welfare, worried about providing food, or worried about the wellbeing, without worried about the learning aspect of it. And it was very much a dependency model, it was like the rich giving to the poor type of thing. And we wanted to move away from that. We wanted to move to a true partnership. We wanted a partnership where both parties could benefit as well. So not just ourselves, but other could learn from us too. So how did this happen? It was always about getting the right people, so getting the right coordinator in place to begin with that had that right mindset. An earlier coordinator that was there like six years ago, you know, they wanted to have an office in Normal Street, the main street in Geelong. They had a shop front there, out of this is us, and we're here, we're close to the coffee shops and everything else. What we wanted was a coordinator that didn't think like that. And we also wanted the coordinator that was actually co-located in the school. So you're actually in the middle of the school, you live and breathe the school, you know what goes on a daily basis, and you've got the, the traffic of the, of, the, uh, of the staff and students and family going past your office every day. That's what we wanted. And we're very lucky that, um, and we've always been lucky with our getting good people to, to come down to Geelong. So we started off there, uh, we had Gail initially, and then, uh, then Steve took on, and Steve really ramped it up. What does Steve do? So he's in regular communication, and, and Mandy mentioned that before about the importance of actually going to each campus, to each leadership team, um, to each meeting, and, and really um, having a strong communication, a strong relationship with the people. And we need to make sure that we integrated the, our strategic intent with what the, the partner organisation wants to do as well. Whereas in the past, with lots of other organisations and relationships, they say, this is what we can do for you. I want to people knock on my door, who I call do good as it's just look, I can do this for you. And we want people there to actually know what we want to do, and they can actually sit down with us and they can see where their work fits in with our work, so we can strategically work together. So we're at the stage now where it's quite seamless, and people actually don't know, like that's our kids in the robotics program. I don't think if you ask our families and our staff and our kids who was behind all that, that's a Northern Bay thing. They wouldn't say that was an ARDOC thing. But people just don't know whether it's ARDOC or whether it's us. It's just, just perfectly aligned. And Steve was the sort of person, he, he looked for creative and new ways of doing things, he looked for new opportunities, looked for how to improve student learning outcomes rather than what we had there traditionally. So you need those sorts of people. Can I skip one? Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. I've heard the wrong page. So what have we done? You saw the, the Lego Robotics, and we had a group of uh, Year 11s, I think they were, Mandy. Can you remember? They, they went to, uh, and Steve was able to organise a trip to Cairns. So they were visual arts students, uh, and they were able to spend a week up there in some of the uh, artist colonies um, on a cultural trip. An opportunity that would never ever uh, be something that they could afford to do. Access to events, and you saw photos again of our kids here at the Grand Prix and the work they did there. Uh, visits to the Supreme Court. Buddy and, and mentor programs that are really important. When you talk to people, how do you make a difference in a low socioeconomic school? How do you make kids want to aspire? You actually link them up with a good, strong mentor that, uh, that's prepared to take them on and work with them through that. The Learning Through Lunch actually started with us, called Etiquette Lunch. Um, and as Mandy said before, 726 participants now in, in, uh, in Victoria are now a part of that. That's a chance to try some different food. It's a chance to actually learn the etiquette of having, having lunch. A chance for some uh, uh, good conversation around you know, possible career and what you could do into the future. We've also been able to establish and distribute uh, prep book packs on enrolment, so backpacks with books in it, so for those families that actually didn't have uh, reading material and picture story books at home, there's an opportunity to have those and have them supplied. And also some uh, the how to read your kids lessons as well for the, the, the young mums and young parents. For the year 12 study camp, but, uh, and that's one which started off being fully funded by ARLOC and then, then partially funded out, fully funded by ourselves because we saw the value on it. Of it. And that's taken the year 12 off uh, the first week of school just to get them ready for year 12. Um, and they've been using Deakin University campus to do that and staying on, staying on campus for that. And the same with the VCAL program. So ARLOC tests the water, they put it in there, it works really well. Then, they can back away and put their money into something else and we can say that really works well for us so we can pick that up and we'll continue to do that. Likewise, Century Garden Project, the Upstart Entrepreneurial Challenge, you know, another thing, you've got to make a difference to kids and the kids who are going to be highly employable will want that entrepreneurship to be there as well. Uh, I would also offer scholarships like Briscoe One, the Music One, 
involved in children's work activities, um, first aid, level two training for year nines. This is all stuff that would be very expensive and not stuff that we're qualified to deliver. Breakfast clubs, mock team, mock year team interviews, and then just working because we're, now we've actually got the Smith family and Arlock actually sharing the same space. So there's a chance for them to work together as well. Um, so you've got Brad from the Smith family and now we've got Mark as well that are there and you can look for those common links and set up those learning clubs. I think the partnership is so strong that uh, even though Steve's moved on to me at Ali and now we've got Steve, is that there's actually no loss of continuity with the program. It's so embedded and so part of what we do that Mark can just step in there having only been there for three months or thereabouts. Um, but no one knows any difference. Things just go on and then Mark comes in and he brings different ideas and different ways of moving forward. So it's a true place-based model that works really well uh, and it just fits in so well with the work that we do.